setting a small goal. All right, so right now, let's follow the rules. Let's first play the game before we get to the point where we can learn it. Okay, so I'm walking around here. That's pretty interesting that I'm walking and I can... So I'm a 3D object and I'm walking instead of a 2D sprite, which is commonly the thing with 2D games of old. Okay, I love how I'm interacting with things. That's very nice. So the physics engine's very robust. I can't tell if it's really robust or not, but I would say knocking over boxes is pretty fun. And then I come across this ship thing that I can push also. I love the textures on this thing. All right, and that's about it. I mean, I gotta, so the whole thing here is I guess pushing around objects. Now, here's where, what the purpose of this video represents. What should I learn from this? There's so many things in here. I'm gonna get hung up on stuff, I know I am. I'm gonna concentrate on probably the guy and the fact that he's got animations of him walking. That is the wrong way to go, <laughs> okay? Concentrate on small things, like he's interacting with geometry. Now, is it very important to you that you have your own 3D person out there that's walking right off the bat? No. You have to start out small. What's, what's something small and obtainable that you can learn and then walk away with it with some confidence and then go into it another round? And I'm going to set my goal as to figure out why or how I am actually pushing around objects. Okay? So I'm going to stop this and look around at different aspects of things. But I want to break this up into a couple of videos. I know this is only like a minute video, but I would say that uh, set yourself a goal. And my goal right now, I'm stating it, is to figure out why or how things are being pushed around in a scene. Not necessarily by a 3D person, but just in general, the camera pushing around 3D objects.